Do you like the suave sophistication of art, especially that of Gauguin, Van Gogh, Picasso? But you like the evil, twisty, dark side of Halloween? Me too. So you've come to the right place. Because this week, if you've liked my Inspired by the Masters series where I try to recreate famous paintings, you will love this Halloween twist. I delve into the depths and the dark bowels of the art world and find the creepiest paintings that I'm going to try to recreate. So this time I am doing Pyramid of Skulls by Paul Cezanne. So if you're ready to see me recreate a petrifying portrait of putrid pallor, Try saying that fast five times. Then let's get started. Pyramid of Skulls is a 1901 oil painting by French post-impressionist artist Paul Cézanne. It depicts four human skulls stacked in a pyramid configuration. This painting is exceptional because no other painting by Cézanne has his objects so close to the viewer. There are four human skulls shown in the painting three of which face forward directly from the painting, giving the impression that they are staring at the viewer. Two of these skulls are laid beside each other and the third skull sits on top of these two. The fourth skull is lying down on the back of the head behind the three forward facing skulls and is only partially visible. Cézanne painted several compositions that featured skulls. The earliest dates from around 1867, but nearly all the skull paintings were done between 1895 and his death in 1906. Many experts think that his state of mind is revealed in the choice of his subject matter. He worked in isolation in the last decade of his life and frequently alluded to mortality in his letters. For me, life has begun to be deathly monotonous. As for me, I'm old, I won't have enough time to express myself, and I might as well be dead. However, there are others that think Cezanne was just inspired by the actual structure of the skulls and pointed out similarities between their composition and other still works and self-portraits done by the painter. <laughs> 